Okay, so um, here's what I want to talk about in this little session right here. And we already talked about installation and philosophy. Before I get started, I want to talk uh, some about our past protections. Okay, I just I, I want to keep emphasizing this, all right? Every time I talk to you guys is, you know, you will become how you practice. All right, and I just can't, I just don't think you can overlook how important the practice part is. That we want to play the game as much as we can Monday through Thursday. All right, and that means coaches also. All right, for you to stand out behind your guys and watch them run plays all day, that's not what you do on Friday night or Saturday night. Okay, if you're on the sideline, so create the atmosphere that these kids are going to be in Friday night. All right, so create the attitude, the tempo, and the finish, and the you know all those things, the toughness that we've talked about in practice. All right, also create the attitude that, um, or create the atmosphere in practice of, of you know. When you're in team settings, all right, play the next play. Hey, let's fix the problems, whether you're scripting your plays or whether you're just calling them, all right? Because I also think it's important as a play caller, all right, that you also, as a play caller, practice, all right, with your signal guys, you know, your guys getting the signals on the field, getting everything communicated, uh, which will be another talk later down the road here. We're talking about communication at the line of scrimmage and from the sideline. But those are the things that you need to practice all right, so when a kid gets there Friday night, he, the first time they run out on the field, he said, shoot, I've been doing this all week. This is easy, all right, and that's how it should be, okay? Uh, the other thing, just real quick, I wanted to hit on is, uh, you know, we talked about earlier about, um, you know, the 12% rule. We talked earlier about, you know, the, the finish, uh, the tempo, and the toughness, all things that your guys get by effort, all right, and by focus and by concentration. Are they going to step the wrong way on a play now and then? Yeah, they are. All right, is your quarterback going to miss a read? Is a receiver going to run a wrong route? Yeah, those things are going to happen. All right, it's just human nature. All right, you try to eliminate those as much or, or minimize as many of those in the game as you can. All right, but that seems going to happen. So that's why our next selling point is play the next play. Okay, now we're running our base concepts, our base runs, our base passing game. All right, and problems occur. All right, you as a coach, all right, need to have answers for that. Okay, now how am I going to fix this problem of the fire zone versus versus uh, versus the draw? Okay, does that mean I don't call that play anymore the rest of the game? No, I don't want to do that. All right, so how do I fix the problem? All right, so that's that's your job as a coach. All right, so anyway, and I'm going to be I'm going to keep hitting that hitting that with you guys because I think that's so vital to this offense. All right, the speed to play this game at. All right, which is, I think, is, is, is what I'm really sold on, all right, is that my, my call sheet has, 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 has just got so, I mean, I'm going to go into a game with probably no more than 32 plays on my call sheet, okay? And those are 32 plays that my guys have practiced, all right? Every practice, all right, all through two-a-days. I, things will never be added during the week. When my game plan's done on Monday, all right, nothing can, is allowed to be added to that game plan. Now, things can be taken off. So instead of going to the game, say I take three plays off because the old line coach didn't like them or whatever reason, all right, they weren't looking good in practice, now I'm only going into the game with 29 plays, all right? I'm not going to say, well, I took that off, I can add one, okay? It's not about what you know as a coach. It's about what your players know as players, okay? Um, how, 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 how well can they execute what you want them to do, okay? So that leads us right into protection. And actually, you know, it's going to kind of overlap here as far as all of our, all of our, our O-line play, okay? As far as protections, run game, uh, the whole gamut of what the O-line, all right? First, th first thing is, is I really, I really like the bigger these splits get, the better I like it. All right, if you can get them out to three feet, get them out to three feet, okay? Now these guys start getting nervous, especially if you've got some gap scheme stuff in where they've got to block down on somebody because they feel they're so far away from them, all right? But the more you can get these splits out, all right, where they're nice, good splits and create running lanes for our run game, all right, the better off in the long run you're going to be, all right? And these guys will start to get you know, they'll start to feel better, better, better about them the, the, the more you do it, okay? Basically, offensive line-wise, all right, is our basic rule on most everything is that our O-line is four down to Mike, 
And we're not going to talk about an odd front right yet. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but I just want to get you guys up to speed on the basic concept of what our O-line does, all right? Basically, we're four down to Mike, all right? Or four down to the play side backer. So he, he may not always be, quote, the Mike or the middle of three, all right? But we're always four down to a backer, all right? So I think, I think right now I'm just going to start with all right, protections, okay? So in, in this protection, and just out of simplicity, I'm just going to draw up, you know, an over front here, okay, <clears throat> with my two outside receivers, okay? Now, whether you're in pistol, if you like the pistol, or whether you're just sitting here, all right, another thing I, uh, I want to hit real quick is, is that as far as splits, hey coach, where does this guy line up? Does he get in the B gap? Does he split the tackle? You know, I'll, you know, I'm a firm believer in, hey, get to the best place you can get to to do your job. Because each one of these kids is a little bit different. All right, I got one running back. All right, when we're running the inside zone, heck, he's almost sitting back here. All right, because he's not as good as a as a as a crossover uh, open crossover. All right, or my other guy, he can line up out here and get it done. Okay, so I want them to find where they're comfortable doing their job, all right, and it's easiest for them. Okay, now back to protection. Okay, so what we know here is that if just we were to put up just the three backers, okay, so we know now that our offensive line is four down to Mike on this protection. Okay, so in this protection, Four down to Mike. All right, the back is offset this way. All right, he's offset this way. So now he knows, well, I'm responsible obviously for Sam, all right? And I'm in a scan mode, all right, to this guy. Okay, that would be four down to Mike, all right? We're in a two by two set. All right, well now, so kind of just stay with me for a second here, guys, all right? I don't like that, all right? I think that puts too much pressure on this guy. What if the Will walks up here and the Sam walks up here? What's he gonna do, okay? So I think your protection has to kind of fit the formation you've decided to be in, okay? So to solve this problem, okay, when we're in two by two sets, all right, is that we need the ability to have two different six-man schemes, all right? And they're only based, they're basically based on the formation we're in, not the defense, all right, but the formation that we are in. So if we're in a two-by-two two set, what I would rather do here is, all right, is I'd rather tell the offensive line, all right, you guys go four down, to Will, all right, and let the back go Mike to Sam, basic slide protection, all right? Couple things is, number one is, this it tells my quarterback, hey bro, you ain't got nothing to worry about on this backside, away from the back, okay? If anything's gonna come and hit you, it's gonna hit you right to the backside, to your face, okay? So this is our ram and lion protection, all right? Well, so if I get this, all right, all right, and I get this, all right, I can get it picked up, all right? So that's, that's just ram and lion out of two by two sets. If they bring both these guys, say it's fire zone, all right, the quarterback knows it takes two for him to be hot on that side. Okay, so just like on all our offense, as long as I can stay consistent with this guy, all right, then he knows, hey, hey, it's dual right, and I got everything picked up on the backside. All I know is Mike and Sam are my problems, all right? How am I gonna fix the problem? If they both come, how do I fix the problem? If one of them comes, I've got the problem fixed with the protection, okay? Well, if both of them come, how do I, how do I fix the protection? Or how do I fix the problem? All right, well, our quarterback will point them both out to the Y, to the y. all right? 
Boy, the why could be a sight, all right? This hardly ever happens, okay? But I'm just saying, you still got to have an answer is our quarterback will come up and go do all right. Hey, it's line protection, line sliding the wheel. I know, hey, Mike and Sam, hey, why? Mike and Sam come, all right? If they both come, I'm throwing the ball to you right now, all right? Now, most of our routes have built-in hots to that side, okay? Have built-in hots, but <clears throat> um, he just is letting everybody know, be on the same page that I'm protected over here. These two come, hey, why? Just be heads up, because this ball could come out quick to one of you guys. Okay, now, say we slide this thing over to three by one. Okay, you're probably going to get those backers to slide with you right there. Okay, well now we want to be in a Ron and Lou protection. So now, these guys know, all right, Ron and Lou, uh, we're four down to Mike. Ram and Lion, we're four down to Will, all right? Or towards the r &L call, okay? So now my guys know, okay, well, we're four down to Mike. You're on the Will, all right? Where's the problem? Right here. Okay, just like in Ram and Lion, if both these guys were to come, all right, quarterback knows, all right, I've got to get rid of the ball quickly, all right? But now, we want to try to help the quarterback as much as we can, okay? So, our tackles, they can help the center. So what this tackle is going to say is, when he feels if there's a possible rusher on the outside, he makes an alert call. All right? If there's no, if this guy's walked way out here, all right, he ain't saying nothing. But if Sam Backer starts to walk in here, hey, he's a possible rush guy right there, he's just going to say alert, alert. All right? That's going to tell this center that I just want to make a sort call. Now, our sort call, we would say east or west. Okay, this being to the right would be east, so the center right there would just go, he said, he's sitting here like this, he thinks, I got the mic, all right? All of a sudden he hears a tackle saying, alert, alert, hey, there's some sucker out here that might be coming off the edge. All the center says is east, east, east. And all that does is tell these guys, hey, we're just gonna gap it, all right, to this guy. Because if he's coming here, the end should be coming there, and the tackles, and the three techniques should be coming there. So it's called a sort. We just straight, just like your quick game gap protection. We want to protect from the inside out. Okay, if anything comes, it's got to come around all that mess to get there. Okay. Now, last thing we do is, all right, and it's strictly, all right, to just protect our quarterback. Okay, is if the 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 tailback, all right, feels. All right, because he can hear alert calls back there too. All right, so he's standing back there, and you know he knows he's he's what's one of our four things? Sacks, man. We can't give up a dang sack. All right, I want protection first. All right, then get in your route for back. All right, he knows I hear alert, alert, alert on this. Okay, and the wheel backers say starting to move this because they're getting ready to fire zone me like that. All right is we do let our back scan, all right, to any alert calls. So he said, my will didn't come, I'm gonna scan across, and his only purpose is to take a hit off a quarterback. The quarterback's not counting on him in protection, we just wanna protect the quarterback. All right, because obviously there's a chance of four guys coming over here, we're gonna shut off these three gaps. All right, say so here comes a mic late or whatever, we just wanna make sure that that guy is taking a hit off the quarterback. Be the same thing if you were to ram a line, okay? So anytime he feels he hears alert calls from tackles, that hey, I'm in a scan mode, all right? Because the tackles basically tell me there's a chance of four blitzers away from me, I'm gonna be in a scan mode and get over there and help, all right, take a hit off a quarterback. Okay, because remember now, we're trying to play fast, so we want to have as little communication as we can. We don't want to have the 
We don't want to have the, the center up there making 18 different calls. Okay? It's really simple. A tackle's got an alert call. Okay? A center's got an east and a west call. All right? He just knows, am I four down to Mike or am I four down to Will? All right? Hey, it's ram, it's ram and line. Hey, I'm four down to Will. Boom. If he got the alert call out here on four down to Will, on a ram and a lion, okay? Alert. Because let's say they were like this. Here came the wheel. Tackle saw the wheel thinking he was coming. He'd say alert, alert, alert. What would the center say? He heard alert, say west. Gap it. Okay? So it just turns into your automatic fan. All right? Okay, so four down to Mike, four down to Will. Two base protections, okay? Two by two sets, three by one sets. I don't signal, we don't actually even signal the protection of the quarterback. He knows it. All right, if he's in two by two, he's saying ram or line, depending on which way he wants his back to release. If he says trio, he's saying Ron or Lou. All right, setting the back always away from the three receiver side. Okay, we're going to get into it real quick when, I, when we talk about uh, our hot release or our free release by the backs. I'll talk about our R and L protection where the back is now free released. Okay, but basically all R and L mean, all R and L is your ram and lion. Okay, so there's no difference to him. So if I'm two by two right here and I want to free release this back, which we like to do a lot of, Okay, he's still in an L call, all right? Telling these guys, hey, I'm working L, all right? And the only difference now, instead of this guy making an alert call, because he knows the center can't come with him, okay? When he hears R and L, okay, he makes a Sith call. Okay, so well, since I'm talking about it, I might as well just, I might as well just draw it up here and show you guys, okay? So, so we're just running R and L protection. Okay, he knows that's L protection. So we've got the back side of the quarterback. If you got an alert call, he'd make a west call by this guy. Okay, on this side, all right, it's now sift. So he knows if there is a defender, all right, he vertical sets, and he's got to block the most dangerous of either one of those two guys, all right? So if this was a three technique, and this Mike Backer was sitting in here, all right, he's got to say sift, 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 all right? We've got to block the dangerous, we got to let the outside guy go on our empty release stuff. Okay, because when he goes, they've got to have somebody over here to cover him. Okay, it's either got to be the mic, or if they want to bring the mic, the end's got to cover him. If nobody covers him, he's the hot. Okay, quarterback knows that. If they bring, just like before, I point out two, if they do come, they hot. Same thing here. He, he's basically pointing out two, all right, or he knows if these two guys come, all right, it's hot. All right, so that's just a real quick. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit, a little bit uh, more in depth later. Okay. So, so now we've got. All right. So we've got our two base protections for the offensive line. Four down to Mike. Four down to an outside backer, a Will or Sam. Okay. Ron and Lou, Ram and Lion. All right. So now, how does that fit into the rest of our stuff? All right. Okay, so say now I want to run the play action off my zone, zone, okay? Play action on the zone. Tailback is this side. It's two by two. What did we say we're going to do in two by two? Four down, two wheel, or ram, lion, okay? So now this offensive line knows, hey, I'm four down, to wheel, Okay, back you got Mike to Sam, just like you would on Ram and Lion. 
Okay, so this blue, if this guy came up like that, it'd be still a west call. So nothing changes for these guys. If he was a trigger, the backs got him. If this guy comes off the edge, you abort, you got him. And now the quarterback knows what? Takes those two to be hot. Okay, so protection's the same. It's just the play action protection off it. Okay, say we were in, in trio, all right? And we wanted to run stretch, weak, okay? That's hustle. Okay, so ram, lion, act, okay? Hustle, I mean uh, stretch, hustle. Okay, hustle a lot, hustle a lot. Okay, this is four down to Will. This is four down to Mike. Okay, this is the same as Ron and Lou. Right, so I see I'm, I'm trying to keep it so that there's not a lot of different schemes for these guys to know. All right, they know, hey, Ron and Lou, they know hustle. All right, they know. Uh, you know, are the same protections. You go ram and lion, act, same protections. I don't have anything different. One's just a play action, one's not. Okay, so now that tells these guys, hey, well, what do you got? You got four down a mic. Okay, who do you got? You got the will. Okay, where's the problem? Obviously, we can't double key this guy because it's play action. So now the quarterback knows where's the problem. Right there. Okay, that's my hot. Okay. So as long as I can tell the quarterback, all right, hey, listen, Brock, okay, we're in hustle protection. We got everybody blocked. You got Sam, okay? Then he knows what to do, all right? He knows that's the problem, okay? This guy came up and started doing that. You better fix the problem. If not, this guy's free, okay? You know, you may point him out to the Y so I can get hot on him right there. So, um, you know, so protectionally, all right, let's try to keep it and mix it all right, and keep it the same as our run game, our play action, and our pass protection, okay? So if I was to, I'm gonna give you just a quick example, okay? Our screen game's the same way, okay? So if I was to write up here, hey, O-line, okay, tell me everything you got four down with Mike on, okay? Well, they would say Ron and Lou, they would say Hustle, they would say Rose and Sally, and they'd say uh, Zorro or inside zone. All those, their rules are the same. Okay, are they blocked a little bit different? Yeah, one's a screen, one's a stretch, you know, one's pass, one's straight drop back, and one's an inside zone, all right? But they're all the same, all right? So example would be here, okay? Trio right. Shut off. Okay, so example would be this. We want to run the draw play. Okay, I'm sorry. We want to run the, the under screen, all right? Or Rose and Sally. Okay, we said Rose and Sally, you're what? Four down to Mike. Okay. You know you've got what back? The will. If he doesn't come, I get in the screen. Okay? Down to Mike, back's on him. Who's got the Sam quarterback? All right, on screen, you do. Okay, you got the Sam. All right, so let's 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 give you an answer to the problem over there. If we've got screaming screen and that happens, what are we going to do? Well, you could say, hey, why? Sam's hot. A point to a guy means he's hot. A point to two guys means they both got to come. All right, hey Sam, you're hot. All right, if he comes, I'm throwing it to you hot. Well, instead of having to jump through all those hoops, let's just do this. All right, let's just give you a quick game throw out here. All right, so now the quarterback goes, if Sam comes, all right, I can throw the football, all right? So, you know, the more you can keep everything pretty constant for the quarterback, all right, the better off you are. He doesn't have a lot of, well, if this guy's hot, I don't know if this guy's hot, no, if that guy comes over here or whatever, hey, all I want him to know is, all right, who's your, who's, who's your problem? Sam's a problem on hustle. The backside back is a problem on hustle. Rose and Sally, who's a problem? Sam. 
okay? Um, Ram and Lion, who's the problem? Well, Mike and Sam, they both have to come, okay? So as long as he can do, as long as he knows those things, all right, then he's got a chance, at least, all right, to fix the problem. Now, we're not a team that asks our quarterback to check a lot, all right? So my job is to give him the answer to the problem, okay? So Sam's the problem. What's my answer out there, coach? Well, I gave you a quick game out there to throw the football to. Okay, cool. He comes, bam, I'll throw the quick game. All right? What if these two guys come, coach? What do I got? Well, the route's got a built-in hot right here on the snag route. If those two come, you throw the snag hot to the back. Okay? So I just want it to be that simple to him where he's not as a cover two, as a cover three, as a man free, as a bear, what's coming on. Hey, who's the problem? Fix the problem. All right, so now carry this right on over into your run game. Whoever, FZ, okay? Okay, just give me an over front split safety look, all right? just so I can now run our Zorro play. Okay, which would be our inside zone read. Okay, okay, we already said Zorro fits into what? Four down to Mike. Okay, and now they hear Zorro, they know Mike is what? Always play side in the run game. So to the line, that guy becomes the Mike. Okay, now who becomes the problem? On this, but well, obviously the backside backer and the sand backer become the two problem guys. Okay, <clears throat> so this is almost like line protection. Okay, so now we know that we are going to zone to the wheel backer. We're going to run our Zorro play. So now we've got to be able to handle the backside over here. All right. Well, if we've got a three technique on the backside, I'm going to go through this quick because we'll have another one of these. Talks will just talk strictly about the run game, but I just want to show you about, you know, fixing problems. Quarterback knows where the problems in. Is how do I solve them? Okay. Well, we're going to handle this guy, all right, with the two backside guys, all right. So now the quarterback knows. In this look, I'm going to tell you what. Let me change it just so we kind of simplify it, so we can explain this. Okay, they're here. He's there. Okay, so here's now the two problems to the quarterback. All right, so he knows this on, in, on read zone is, this guy, we're gonna always block obviously, you know, to the play side. So now the quarterback knows, here's my two problems, all right, on this play, all right? Problem could happen this way, all right? Problem could happen this way with the sand back or tighter. Okay, or almost in the box right there. All right, they got too many guys in there. So how does he? Well, how does he fix these problems? Okay. Well, how he fix? How we give him an answer to fix these problems are the key screen out there. All right. So as he comes up, it's the same thing. He looks. Okay, I know these guys are four down the wheel. There's Mike. Oh wait, Sam's way inside. Mike's way inside. Hey, I'm gonna throw the key screen out there. Okay. Say Sam lines way up out here on the key screen. Okay, now he knows the end's the problem. Okay, well, now as I'm reading this, if the end bends, the quarterback knows, well, now he's the problem. If he bends, I can pull it and run, or I can pull it and still throw the screen outside. Okay, so basically, you know, I hope you got the, the gist of it is, is that, is that what we want to do is, is try to have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? All right, if there, if there's com commonality, commonality? I don't even know if that's a word, all right? All right, with every play, okay? Whether it's we're running Zorro, whether we're running Screen Week, whether we're running, you know, Hustle, Left, or whatever, all right? Is that we're, we're basically declaring, hey, you five guys, I always want the quarterback to know these five guys have got those four plus a backer, Okay, quarterback and receivers, you're responsible for the rest of these guys. Okay, now 
what I have to do as a coach now is give them, all right, answers to if these guys cause problems to the play. Okay, I give matches with key screens, I give matches with quick game, I give matches with a hot look, all right, or with a route built into the in, into the into the pass, all right. But so so now everybody knows they come up. Hey, these guys, you got those four and him quarterback receivers. We got these guys out here. Something screwed up, all right. Here, there's the answer. Okay, all right, good.